friends, this is Adeline from Vibrant and Pure, and today I'm going to show you how to make Vibrant Bowls. Vibrant Bowls are essentially just an easy, nutritious, one bowl lunch that uses things you have in your pantry or leftovers, and I'm just going to show you how I like to put them together. I love making things extra colorful just for a little, a little bit of excitement in your food because I don't think we have to have boring lunches. A little bit more about me, my website is vibrantandpure.com, and here are the Vibrant Bowls themselves. I also have, and you can follow me on Instagram at Vibrant and Pure. It's pretty much Vibrant and Pure everywhere across the board. <laughs> also, I am the editor for the the editor for three feeds on the feed feed: apples, peaches, nectarines, plums, and apricots, as well as gluten-free breads. So check me out there too. So I've made everything look organized and pretty for you, but normally it's really just stuff that I have in my refrigerator, leftovers, seeds, nuts, herbs, anything. That so here is some massaged kale salad, just massaged with a little bit of sesame oil and lime juice. Here's some leftovers from last night's dinner, just some roasted broccolini and baby bok choy. Some cauliflower rice seasoned with za'atar. Here is some almond milk yogurt sauce with cucumbers. Um, some beet hummus, some pickled onions. I here are some falafel spiced chickpeas because I figure why do you always have to form it into a falafel? Just keep it simple and use the same spice as you would with a falafel on the chickpeas. And most of this stuff is pretty basic, but if there's anything that requires a recipe like my beet hummus or these mashed purple sweet potatoes, I will have them available on vibrantandpure.com. Okay, so I like to start with some type of greens. So I'm going to put the massaged kale salad in here and then I think I'm going to go a little bit of an Asian style with this. Okay, this bowl is looking good and it is almost finished. As you can see, I added some kimchi, sliced radishes, microgreens, roasted vegetables, cabbage, pickled onions. Now I'm going to add some protein in the form of a soft boiled egg. So these are tricky and I hope I got it right. You have to do exactly six minutes for it to be perfectly soft boiled. Next, I'm going to do sort of a Middle Eastern style bowl, and I'm going to go with some of the falafel chickpeas, some cauliflower rice, maybe some spinach, and some beet hummus. I have some cauliflower rice, some baby spinach, and microgreens, and now I'm going to add my favorite part, the beet hummus. I'm just going to put it right in. Okay, it's almost finished, and it really can be finished whenever you want it to be, but I just like to go a little over the top. So I'm also going to add some pickled cauliflower. Okay, so I added some yogurt sauce, chickpeas, mashed purple sweet potato, pickled cauliflower, microgreens, radish, pumpkin seeds, and fresh milk. I'm going to add one last finishing touch, and that is some pistachio. For the last bowl, I thought I'd show you how to incorporate some fruit. These are cardamom broiled pears. I just sprinkle a little bit of ground cardamom on these pears and put them in the oven at 400. Okay, the last bowl is complete. And now we have three bowls lining the windowsill because why have one bowl when you can have three? Alright guys, I think that's enough bowl making for one day. I hope I could help you spice up your lunch routine. And if you need any recipes, as I mentioned, you can go to vibrantandpure.com. Last thing before I sign off is let the feed feed know if you as a viewer want the opportunity to take over their Snapchat and make something of your own.